All right, I wanted to go through split surface and building pad. Um, split surface works very similarly to the subregions we just made, but it actually cuts the surface out of this piece. So if I go to split surface right here and pick the topography I want to split, again, it gives me these edit commands and I want to go to the pick line and I'm just going to split out this. I sort of drew the building next door in AutoCAD. So I'm going to hover over one of those lines again, tab select, so it selects the chain and left click. This also has to be a closed loop. And then if you hit the check, it will now, this is actually a separate surface, right? So if I go into 3D, it's now actually made a hole right in that surface right there. This comes in handy if you have a large um, site file and you want to separate you know, a piece of your uh, topography to work on. Um, now, it still is, and you can obviously, you know, go in and put a different material on it if you want to, just like the subregion. Now, if you want to merge it back, um, you can go to Merge Surfaces, and you can pick that and that, but you're going to see, again, that it's going to merge those roads in. So you want to be careful about, about splitting your surface, right? So... I'm just going to undo back and cancel out of that. So I still have my roads. All right, so now let's make a building pad. I'm going to go back to site. And a building pad, if you select on building pad again, you get edit mode. Um, you get select walls, which is different, but I'm again going to go to pick lines. <clears throat> and if you go to pick lines, you're going to notice it has an offset of zero. It's going to put a building pad at level one, and it's either going to raise or dig into the topography. So I'm going to hover over that, tab select, left click. Um, I haven't really said anything about these locks that are coming up. You can actually lock these um, sketch lines to the Revit link if you want to. Um, I would be hesitant about doing that in the beginning um, until you get a little bit more used to Revit. But I'm, it's going to place this building pad on level one and go down from level one. So I'm going to hit the check mode here. I'm going to go into my 3D view. And you're going to see that it started at level one, which if you remember from when we situated the site, right, is right up at the top. Level one is zero, zero, zero. And it's raised the topography where it hovers out over and then it's actually in some places lowered it a little, right? I guess on this back this back corner, you can see it's cutting into it. Now you could select this pad and either assign it to another level that's lower if you had one, or you can offset it. So you see this height offset? I'm just going to type negative 10 and hit enter, and it's going to dig down into the earth, right? And so this is the way I would suggest cutting straight edges um, if you try and topo them, the topo lines will go crazy. Um, so if you have retaining walls or a straight edge, really just put a building pad in and put a put a wall on top of it. So I could actually go to 10 feet here, and now it's raised that up. Okay, so that's building pad. Now this building pad, if you select it, again, it's not giving you a depth. The depth lives inside this edit type here. This is basically a floor that has a structure and this is where you get that thickness of one foot. And we'll talk more about this stuff later when we get into system families. Okay. All right, so that's split and um, that's split surface and building pad.